One of the most frequent questions that I get from people about Facebook ads are, why are my Facebook ads low quality, as well as how to fix low quality Facebook ads. Now, as someone who spends about six figures worth of advertising budget on Facebook for my clients every single month, meaning every month I give Facebook six figures in US dollars in order to run ads on their platform, I've had my share of ads being marked as low quality, right? And over the years and over time, I've come to really learn exactly first what does it really mean as well as how to completely and utterly avoid that situation, right? So what I'm going to do for you in this video are two things. Number one is I'm going to full blown explain Finally, what does it really mean to have your Facebook ad marked as low quality as well as what are the hidden dangers of it and what are the hidden implications this has both of, on your advertising account as well as on the amount of money that you make from Facebook. And on the second part of this video, I'm going to share the five most common reasons why this might happen. What are the things you might did wrong that cost Facebook to mark your ads as low quality? So you can look at this list as kind of like a checklist and every single time that you are going to launch a new ad, a new um, banner or image or a new video, you can just go over the checklist, make sure that you're in the clear zone and none of those elements that I'm going to mention are in your ads and you will know that your fa Facebook ads will be high quality, Facebook will be happy, you will be happy, we can all make a lot of money and live to publish another day. So with that being said, let's get into the episode. Hey, I'm Natalia from nataliaree.com. I own a marketing agency that helps businesses thrive in this digital era. And if you're new here, this channel is all about helping you create your own profitable and freedom-based digital business that you can start, manage, and grow from home or from anywhere in the world using nothing but your laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. If you're into that, I would love for you to subscribe. I publish new videos every single week. Now, having Facebook mark your ads as low quality point blank sucks, right? Because it's not like Facebook completely rejected your ads, meaning you know that you did something wrong. But on the other hand, Facebook does kind of hint that you did something wrong, right? So if you're wondering how that might look like, it means that when you're going to go into your account and into your ad manager, and you're going to go into your ads tab under any of your campaigns, you will see under the delivery column, um, one or more of your ads has been marked with the horrifying low quality warning sign, right? So what does it really mean? In order for me to explain this to you, you will need to understand what is Facebook really looking for when it comes to the kind of experience it wants to give um, the people who are browsing through its platform, right? So what Facebook is looking to do is to overall give people a positive experience when they are inside Facebook so that they will be able to and want to spend more time there, right? The best kind of like correlation and the best example that I can give you is if you think about a woman who buys a Vogue magazine, right? Woman who buys a Vogue magazine will not see direct response ads in there. They will not see ads screaming, are you in pain? Are you overweight? Click now to get my product. No. Vogue is is all about branding ads, feel good ads, lifestyle ads, showing you models and lifestyle and people with money. And that is where Facebook is going towards, right? That's the direction they want to go towards so that people will want to spend more time on their platform. So with that part being clear, let's move on and try to understand exactly what are the implications of you having an ad that does not fit that goal that Facebook has. And this is actually a message taken directly from Facebook. And here's what they're saying. Individual ads uh, with low quality attributes will see reduced distribution in our ad auction or will be disapproved. Now let's skip to the interesting part. Multiple ads flagged with low quality attributions may impact the performance of all ads by that advertiser, right? So we see two large dangers here. The first danger is that Facebook will distribute your ad to less people. And if I'm going to translate that into human language, that essentially means that every single action that you want people to take from your ad, be it a click, a lead, be it buying a product will cost you more. From my experience, it might even cost you 10 times more than if your ad would not have has been marked as low quality. That's danger number one. But the second biggest danger, and I'm going back to this yellow part, is that if you will have multiple ads marked as low quality, Facebook might see your entire account as being 
too big of a headache to handle and they might eventually block your account or terminate it completely. These are the two biggest dangers and I cannot emphasize this enough. If you will not follow the directions of this video, you might suffer from high spend and low profits from your Facebook ads or to get your entire account dismayed, discontinued, terminated completely, right? And that's what we're trying to avoid here in this video. So with that being said, I want to go and dive deeper into the five most common reasons why this might happen so that you can go over your ads and make sure that none of those reasons actually exist in your current or future ads, right? Let's dive into reason number one. Reason number one why your ad might be marked as low quality is what I like to call the engagement bait, right? Is This is where you essentially create an ad with a clear request for engagement from the people who are viewing your ad, right? For example, like if you're an Aries or love if you're a Leo and find true love, right? Another example is tag a friend who has an awesome grandma or just your grandma, right? Now, I've fell down this trap multiple times because most of my clients are very high level influencers, meaning when they say something or ask for action, people do it, right? But Facebook does not like it when we do it on ads. It loves it when we do it on organic posts, not so much actually today than it used to be, but it, it hates it when we do it on ads and you have to understand why. When an ad becomes viral, meaning how does an ad become viral? When a lot of people engage with it, a lot of people click on it, like it, comment on it, tag it, it means that Facebook will spread that ad for free right? Because that's what Facebook does. That ad will be marked as high quality ad, great content. Facebook will want to show it to as many people as it can. But if you're going to create that situation um, artificially using calls to action, that essentially means that Facebook will be forced to distribute your ads to more people. You will spend less money and Facebook will make less money. Even though this ad is not really high quality, it simply has a goal call to action. And and that's the exact situation that Facebook wants to avoid. Facebook wants only the creme de la creme, the best uh, performing content to rise to the surface. And if we're going to have a lot of CTAs, a lot of calls to action for engagement, Facebook will not know to tell the difference. And that's why they completely decided to eliminate that. And if your ad will have a call to action, it will be marked as low quality. It might even get this approved, right? So please do not do that. Number two, withholding information. These are the kinds of of ads that essentially where you have a secret or curiosity based something that will get people to click in order to find out the answer, right? For example, you have this ad here saying it's a miracle. She didn't break anything amazing. You'll never believe who tripped and fell on stage. Now, since this is so curiosity based, I have to click in order to discover what happened on the other side, on the landing page of that advertiser and Facebook wants to avoid that. They do not want click baby things on the platform again, because because it gives people a bad experience as well as it just keeps people off the platform like that without a good enough reason. Facebook doesn't want that. So don't do that in your ad. Reason number three why your ads might be marked as low quality is having an exaggerated language or promise. And yes, I'm talking to you, all of the direct response marketers out there using a very exaggerating language like mind boggling. You won't believe what happened. This will change your life. will immediately get your ad to be marked as low quality because Facebook does not want that, right? So a good rule of thumb that I can give you in order to know whether or not you're in the clear zone is ask yourself, is it something that I would tell a friend of mine or a person I just met on the street? Will I be coming with them with like this big claims or will I be just talking to them like I would with a regular person, right? This is something that's very, very important. So please mind that. Do not overpromise. Do not use like fancy big words that grab people's attention when you know, like here, the seven mind blowing uses of carrots. These are carrots for God's sakes, right? Do not use all caps or anything that might be considered as exaggerated in order for Facebook to not mark your ad as low quality. By the way, one more thing that Facebook will do is they, once you will create a claim like that or an exaggerating word like that, Facebook will immediately go to your landing page to see whether or not you actually delivered on that promise. Now, since this language is exaggerated by nature, you most likely will not be able to deliver that promise and Facebook will immediately mark your ad as low quality. So don't do that, right? Reason number four is capitalizing on the pandemic. Oh my God. I've seen so many companies do that. Okay, let's get this thing straight. 
Facebook wants people to have a good experience on Facebook, meaning once they're on this platform, it does not want them to think about the pandemic, about having been locked in their houses or anything like that. So please do not mention the name pandemic. Don't say the word COVID in your ads or anything like that. Let's just strive towards a better future where everything is fine, everything is amazing, just like Facebook intended it to be, right? Now, reason number five, is something that I was kind of hesitant to put it in this video because it's actually something that might get your entire ad rejected altogether and might completely risk your account in general, right? So, but I wanted to put this in, in this video just because it's so darn important. And that is the notorious personal attribution. I'm sure you heard about that, about all kinds of advertising saying something like, do not use the word you because otherwise Facebook will know and they will not allow your ad to be displayed. And this is not true. Facebook has nothing against the use of the word you. What Facebook does have something against is um, you essentially giving the other person some kind of an attribution or stating a fact about something that they do not want or can change. And let me actually share this with you straight from the horse's mouth about the exact way, the right and wrong way to create personal attribution. Again, it's not about using the word you. And this is straight from Facebook page. I'm going to share that link at the bottom because I recommend you to go over that page yourself and read all throughout this. So uh, here's what Facebook has to say. Ads must not contain content that asserts or implies personal attributions. This includes direct or indirect assertions or implications about a person's race, authenticity, religion, belief, age, sexual orientation, practices, gender identity, disability, physical or mental health, uh, vulnerable fi financial situation, voting status, membership in a trade union, criminal record or name, meaning nothing that immediately implies onto something that a person does not want to or cannot change, you cannot speak of that. For example, you will not want to say something like meet other black singles near you because this is you giving the person who is scrolling and the other side of Facebook, you telling them you are black or you are single, right? You do not want that. Instead, you can say something like meet Hispanic men online now or find blank singles today, right? You're not speaking about that person directly, but you are uh, referencing to something that that person can be interested in because they are, let's say, African-American. So they want to meet other African-Americans, right? Again, Facebook says very, very clearly using words like you and other without referencing a personal attribution is okay, but using a personal attribution is not okay. Let's go over a few more examples. Are you Christian is not a good way to speak date Christian singles is something you can definitely say because you're not saying to that person, you are Christian, right? Does that make sense? Um, let's talk about, for example, sexual orientation. Saying to someone, are you gay? is not a good idea, right? People do not be, want to be pointed at and saying you are like this or you are something else, but say something like gay dating online now is beautiful because if I was gay, I would be looking for other people to date. And this is exactly uh, the kind of ad that would speak to me. Let's go over one last example. Do you have diabetes? This is the most common thing that we were to write in a direct response type of ad. We do not want to write that in Facebook. Instead, we can say something like new diabetes treatment available right? This has a better feeling. It doesn't speak about me directly. It can only benefit my life and make me feel better. And that's what Facebook is looking for, right? So I hope this video has been helpful for you to understand exactly what does it mean to have your ad being marked as low quality, as well as the five most common reasons why this might happen to you. If you have any questions about this, about your ad being marked as low quality that you want me to look at, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about exactly how to start and grow your own online business, if you want to learn how to create effective marketing from your for your business, it comes from the heart and doesn't make you feel like a sleazeball. And if you want to learn exactly how to grow and manage your business like a boss and so that your business will not end up taking over your life, please make sure to subscribe to this channel right now and hit the bell to be notified every single time that I publish a new video. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, yalla bye.